remember the days We sober boys One and one and one is three Hey, hey, baby, what you mean to me? Hoo! Full and free modifies reality. Open up inner flower, peace and love, inner power. Open up inner flower, peace and love. Today from the computer companies. Uh, yeah. well, we, is there progress being made? I mean, that's what oh, I'm yeah. wondering. Is is the movement growing or are uh, yeah, kind of leaps and bounds? I mean, this year from mm -hmm. last year, a lot of the same people, but so many more, you know, people, you know, in in you know higher offices, you know, that you know governmental figures, you know, they weren't coming to this event. So that's the big difference this year, in one way, but. Uh, uh, yeah, I thought the, that panel where you mentioned the computer uh, guys, that was interesting because it was more like the money people have come in, and I wasn't familiar with those guys. Who were you? No, I was Bruce familiar. McKinney, and yeah. Um, yeah, I missed him because I had to go out and like. Get McKinney was kind of humorous, but the other guy was you know more pointed in his commentaries. The uh, what was his name? Uh, John Gilmore. Yeah, John no, Gilmore. John Gilmore. He said computer guy. They were kind of new to me, but it was interesting. It was a new voice coming in of like people who have been funding and getting involved because they've got some money, you know, that they've made through, in this case, the computer, you know, you know, world. And so it's great to see. I, that was just a little news, you know, and I, I was a learning experience for me to, you know. Yeah, me so, too. That, so that's the me thing. Too. Like, that, I don't know everything either. You yeah. know, I'm learning when yeah. I'm there, you know. I'm just excited to take it all in. Yeah. You know, it's a lot to take in, you know, and it's, uh, but it's really what we do all the time, so it's just, you know, expanded, you know, where we're just getting, like, you know, this yeah. rush of information, 
from all these people who are so smart. Yeah. <laughs> they really are. Yeah, I mean... Like, this is the best and brightest Yeah, I mean, of like, this community. Yeah. You know, it really is. Yeah, Ethan Nailman, you know, talking on, like, triple espresso speed. That was funny. Video ads, video ads. He's great. I mean, he's turned into really a... a, a he's really... A great speaker, He turned into really. a real leader of this movement. You know, he really has taken upon himself to not shy away, and I'm really impressed by that. Never lose the passion. Acknowledge that conflict is inherent to any political movement, and what happened here is enormously healthy, healthy, right up to Ed Rosenthal screaming at the top of his lungs. Okay? That's part of the process. And I, I really like the guy. I just happen to have, we have a mutual friend who's a guy he went to law school with or something, or I don't know. And we just have somebody through a cousin of mine and a friend of his that he knew from law school that they went to, and I knew Ethan, and I just met Ethan years back before he was really getting to be well known and so we got to know each other a little bit before he was like the big guy now and so we just have a nice like friendship that goes before that which helps just in my little view of him you know that yeah. I don't look at him like oh my god he's the Ethan Nadelman I kind of know him as a friend too it changes it just a little well, bit can you remember story. any uh, funny little stories about Ethan Nadelman before he uh from well, I don't know him that well, to be honest. I, mean, I don't know him like going back to school with him and stuff, but I've just yeah. been around him just in a way, in a friendly way. Not really. I mean, he's just a loose guy. I mean, I, I did go, I mean, I wouldn't say funny, but I'll, I'll say that I have supported him a little bit in, in his act, you know, his like speaking activities. He did, uh, he did a, a class at the Learning Center, no, not the, at the Open Center downtown a few years ago, and I went to it. It was on a winter night, and he just, it was like a speaking exercise for him to really learn how to do it in front of an audience. I really thought that's what it was about. He was just working, just to, because yeah. he's gotten so good. He is. He, I mean, he was magnificent he, he today was, in his he speed. Was, he was great. You know, because he was, I mean, he didn't have to, but he, I asked him about it. I saw him, I immediately went over to after, like the party and I said, oh, yeah, this, that speed speech, man, wow. Well, uh, I was just having fun with him and he said, well, you know, it was funny because I, I thought the crowd was a little dead by, you know, because it was so late and long had gone on. The crowd was a little lit, getting a little like punchy, you know, from so much talk all day. And so he felt I had to come in and just really just dazzle a little bit with like fast, fast, fast to wake him up. Yeah. And then so it then and he says he normally would do it the opposite way. He'd come in all slow, talk really a slow cadence to kind of explain everything he wants to explain, and then you know, it's uh, it was really great. I, I, I love the guy. I just uh, you know, it just it's nice to you know just know that I know him you know in a way that that just you know adds to my admiration for him. But I'm talking about Ethan Nadelman. I mean, I'm gushing. Uh, but, uh, but well, another little thing I want to inter interject here is that uh, we we did uh, uh, attend uh, Ethan's uh, lecture, and, and the entire uh, lecture will be shown to the audience here on Louisville Late Night, and and it's just absolutely fabulous. I can't what, from today. Yeah, from today, it's right here. You give every speech you make. It's not just about the freedom to use drugs, but about two other things. Our freedom to do to our minds and our bodies what we see fit has to go hand in hand with people being held accountable for their behavior, whether they have a substance in their body or not. Accountability is always has to be the flip side of individual freedom. And the other thing, if it ever seems or sounds like we are closing our heart to the millions of Americans who are struggling with drugs in their life or with drugs in the life of somebody they love, if it sounds like we don't care about them, if it sounds like we're not sensitive to them, if it sounds like we're not addressing what they are, then we lose. And I think we also give up a part of our soul if we don't address what they're about as well. Let me stop there. Thanks. And, and, and it's just excellent. To, you know, I'm sure it's going to be great. So I just wanted to tell the people that that's coming up. Hey, how about telling us a little bit, you said earlier about, uh, you were saying, well, we do this all the time. Well, what do people, what's it like working at High Times Magazine? Now, that might be a fantasy. Some some people in, in uh, my area might think that it's like walking into a room that's filled with uh, magic mushrooms and uh, other delights. Let's go back to Steve. Yeah. Well, you know, it's an office. There's computers and fax machines. We got to get our work done. Uh huh. So, 
Uh, so you're, it's not a it's not a party twenty four hours a day. No, but it can be a party. You know, we have kind of a corporate line about it, and you know, yeah. we're probably not going to cross over, not even for your your yeah. your late yeah. night show, because because it's like what we do. It's it's like.